to another video on my channel. I have created these gorgeous camouflage nails to show you and to create these camo design nails I have used one of the two new plates launching from Dixie Plates. They will be released in April 2018. The exact time and date will be announced first on the Dixie Plates Facebook group so I'll leave all links in the description box down below to where you can purchase Dixie Plates from and also to the Facebook group. So these are the three different camo designs you can create with this new layered camouflage 01 mini plate. I'm going to show you how to do all three of these in this video but first I'm going to start with my nails and take you through the process of layered stamping to create these camouflage nails so let's get started. So I have already prepped my nails and applied two coats of gel polish. The colours I have used are Goodness Gracious Me Magpie Gel Colour and then also Black Betty also from Magpie Gel Colour. I applied two coats of these curing for 60 seconds and I have now wiped off the inhibition layer. I'm going to be using Hit The Bottle Stamping Polishes in As Black As Night, Hollow They're Beautiful and then Snowed In black, white and a holographic silver polish. So these are the three images that I'm going to be using to create my nails and here is the broken down image so you can see the first, the second, the third layer and then the complete image there. So starting off I'm going to be using my Dixie Plates Diamond Duo Clear Stamper. It's perfect for layered stamping so I highly recommend you get your hands on that. So I'm going to be starting with the first layer and I'm going to be using the black stamping polish. So as you can see there it picks up absolutely perfectly and I'm just going to be applying it directly down onto my nail and holding for a few seconds and then lifting up and there you have it. Because my nails are really long at the moment I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more of this image at the bottom. With this stamping plate, this is the first time I've used it in this video and it is foolproof, it is so easy to use, it's really, really easy, you can't go wrong. So I'm going in with the second layer now and this is the white, so I'm just picking up that image, rolling it with a flick of my wrist and then applying it straight on top of that black. You don't really have to position it in a specific way, I found with this plate. You kind of can't go wrong in that sense. Just apply it anywhere and kind of just, just see where it looks right. And then it all comes together once you've put the third and final layer on. As you can see here, I'm just going in with a tiny bit more where I feel like I missed it at the bottom of my nail because obviously my nails are quite long. And there you have the finished three layered camo nail. So I'm just going to repeat this on the other three grey nails in the same three colourways. So starting out with the black, then going with the white, and then going in with the holographic silver. You can use whatever colourway you want. You could do pink, purple and green. You could do yellow, orange and red. You can do any colour way you want with these. You can get really creative and do some really fun colours. And as you can see there, I just double stamped, adding in little bits bottom really super easy to use and if you have any trouble with stamping definitely head on over to the Dixie Plates Facebook group there is always someone there to help you if you're having trouble with stamping but this plate in particular is really super easy to use so there you have all of the nails done I've stamped them all and now it's they're ready to clean up so I've gone around and cleaned up I've applied two coats of the ugly duckling matte top coat first time using that matte top coat and it's amazing get your hands on it if you haven't already so on the ring finger I'm just going to do an accent nail using some foil glue adhesive this is from the edge and I've just left a one millimeter rim around the outside and then I'm going to use some transfer foil from Sarah R's the nail stamping queen website where you can get all nail transfer foils from and just applying that onto the ring finger just to give it a nice accent contrast I also applied matte top coat over that nail as well and there you have the finished look. They look absolutely beautiful. I am absolutely in love with this plate. And I just want to say a massive thank you to the gorgeous Kate Dix for sending me these beautiful plates. Thank you so much, they are absolutely stunning. <laughs> Okay, so I'm now going to show you the three 
different images and camouflage designs you can get. This first one is the same of the black, white and grey that I've just done on my nails. So as you can see here, again, the three layers and then the final image. So I'm just going to show you it in a different colourway. I'm using Hit the Bottle Emeralds Are Forever and just applying it to that first layer, scraping down, rolling that stamper across really lightly, you don't need to put pressure on, and then stamping down. And as you can see there, I just got a little bit of unwanted polish. So I'm just taking a little bit of acetone and removing it. I'm going in with Moju London's Into the Woods, which is a gorgeous khaki green. Going in to that second layer now, and placing that directly on top. You can kind of see where they line up. They don't have to line up perfectly. Again, they're that kind of more natural form, so you don't have to get them exactly perfect. Now I'm going in with Moju London's Lady Gold Pink, which isn't pink, it's green. Bizarre name. Anyway, so that is the final three layers, and it creates this gorgeous look. Next camo design you can create is this pink nail. Again, you don't have to do it in pink, you could do it in any colour way you want. Showing you again the first, second, third, and then the complete image here. So here's the first layer on the plate, and then it goes second and third. So I'm using Moju London's Berylicious, applying it to that first layer, top right hand corner of the stamping plate, picking up the image, and then placing it down onto the nail. Now going into the second image, I'm using Hit The Bottle Psycho Pink. This is a new one in my stamping polish collection and I'm absolutely in love. It's a beautiful hot pink. And I'm just applying that directly on top of the first layer. Next colour for the third layer is Candy Floss from Moju London. And then I'm applying that to the top of the image, scraping, picking up and placing down. So again, you can do these in all different colours. These are just the colours that I thought I'd show you for this video. So last design of camo you can create is this beautiful blue camo design. This is a four layer image. So you've got the first, second, third, fourth and then the final image showing on screen now. And I'm just showing you here the four layers where they are on the plate. So I'm starting off with Moju London's Midnight Madness, a gorgeous deep blue, applying that at the top of the image, scraping down once, picking up and placing straight onto that nail. The second layer for colour is Glacier, also from Moju London. Repeating that first step again, placing it at the top of the image, scraping down, picking up and placing onto the image. All these pickups are absolutely perfect the design is so well etched in Dixie plates it's brilliant I'm going to be going and using the hit the bottle hollow their beautiful stamping polish now for the third layer and placing that down and for the last layer I'm using hit the bottle a bolt from the blue I find with these layered stamping it's nice to use different finishes stamping polishes so from a more glittery to a metallic to just a cream finish I think it adds a lot more dimension to the nail. So there you have all three different camouflage designs you can create for this stamping plate. Really super versatile, you can switch up the colourways and create so many different camouflage effects and looks. They are just the three basic designs you can create. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I thoroughly enjoyed creating it for you. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to check out Dixie Plate's Facebook group down below, that is where they will have the announcement for when this plate is launched. There will also be another plate coming out with this plate, so keep an eye out for that on my channel and on the Dixie Plate's Facebook group. Again, thank you for watching, check out my Instagram for loads more photos using this camouflage plate and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.